Southern Sail Kitsap High School with Port Orchard Football Club head coach Pat Leonard after Sunday's 7-1 victory over Northern Peninsula FC in the beautiful town of Port Townsend, Washington in the historic Grass Stadium at Jefferson County Memorial Athletic Field. A match against a team that was stopped with players from Peninsula College and we came out early and then eventually flattened them late. So coach, what were your thoughts looking back? I think to focus on us and what we did, I thought I thought everybody understood, you know, there was, there was sort of that, as a coach, when you accomplish winning a division and now there's this couple games, I don't want to call them dead rubbers, but they're, they're games that we've already accomplished that goal within the league. So now it's about staying sharp. But as a coach, you always sort of have that fear of like maybe guys will take off in certain moments and relax in certain moments where they wouldn't necessarily a couple weeks earlier that wasn't the case with our guys I'm, i couldn't be prouder of their performance i mean three nothing up in the first 15 minutes the guys came to play they recognized that it was an opportunity to stay sharp a different challenge on a grass field and improved and improved player personnel in the opposition and yeah the guys rose to the challenge i mean they did exactly what we asked of them Seven goals were scored, which, you know, it gets us back into that high territory of what we were doing a little bit before we started seeing teams for a second time. Yeah. But believe it or not, I want to talk about some other positions, especially probably the job that Gil Navarro did on the back line and the switch you made to get Vic Cabanas in the middle. And uh, both of those guys were exceptional. Yeah, I mean... Vic was able to do exactly what we saw him do against uh, the goals a couple weeks earlier. He was a center back that week, but he was still so composed this week on the ball. Calm things down. He'd be in a tight space and he'd get himself out of it very relaxed, playing good passes that kept opening up the game for us. I mean, there, the opposition's game plan was pretty simplistic at times, to be honest. They wanted to try to drop it in behind and see if they could get something on a counterattack on that grass field. And Gil cleaned up anything and everything. I thought Aiden did really well next to him, but Gil, I felt like time and time again, he was rising in the air, winning 50-50s, doing what he needed to do, sliding tackles. He was a, he was a real leader back there throughout. Yeah, you also got a nice all-around game from Connor Loudon, yeah. who uh, got us going early in the second minute with a goal assisted on a, a beautiful f header goal by Aiden Harvey yeah. late on that sort of sealed everything for us. And then also began a goal that was eventually scored by Mike. Um, and another two goals there for Michael Devano, so yeah. he's up to 18. Yeah. Um, tell me a little bit about Connor's game. Yeah, I mean, Connor, Connor did what he, he's been doing for us all season. I think he's one of the most creative players I've been able to work with. When he sits behind that front three, he just finds spaces that can make things happen. And when he gets the ball on his foot, he's so great at creating for others. So it's it's nice when he, I feel like he's been in and involved in the build up to goals all season. So for him to kind of get that first one and have the spotlight on him a little bit was really nice. He's a, he's a great team player. He's a great team teammate to these guys. and. You know, I'm really happy to have him out here and just having him in games like that where you know like it's sort of tense going into the buildup. He calms things and he does what he does and then it just allow, it allows us to play. So, yeah, a great performance. Yeah, no, really nice job by the boys. Uh, you know, guess what, Coach? We get to talk for the eighth or tenth straight week in a row about our fans. Yeah. Uh, because there we are in Port Townsend. Uh, some of our fans got stuck, uh, the bridge went up and they had to wait, but eventually the stadium was ours. Yeah. Once again, our traveling support was louder and bigger than the home team, and the chance of POFC rung out after every goal. Yeah. So, what do you have to say about everyone traveling up to Port Townsend? Sure. I mean, boys? what is there to say that hasn't been said already? These, these supporters have been amazing, and I feel like I keep saying that, but it, it's it doesn't matter what it is. I mean, again, we talked about it. The division's already won, and we have two away games, and they still show up in their numbers. And to be quite honest with you, the stands were filled with Port Orchard fans, again. And I know that 
I mean, that gives these guys a boost when we're talking about this game and building it up and wanting to maintain our standards and they walk out and they hear that from the beginning. How can they not be fired up to go play, right? And then next thing you know, we're 15 minutes in, we're 3 nothing up, we control the whole game. And it's really a credit when the players play that way. I, I do think, honestly, as cliche as it sounds, it's a credit to the, the supporters and what they do to build these guys up and allow them to feel supported. And we're able to do what we do, knowing that we're going to be back the whole way through. So uh, we're incredibly 9-0-0 now. And, you know, you got to want to finish it 10-0 if you can, which would be a league record. No club has ever gone undefeated in the CPL in a 10-game season. Um, yeah, so jinx, 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 but we have to talk about it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we go to, on Sunday night, we go to Olympia to play Thurston County, who we saw at home already yeah. to finish out our season. So. I mean, we're set. We know exactly where we are in the playoffs. We don't need to win for any other reason than to keep the streak going and to feel good. And to, so how do you approach it? Yeah, I mean, I understand where like spectators and supporters and people backing this club, like I understand that's where their head's gonna go. It's obvious that it would go there, but the focus for us as a coaching staff and when we have these conversations with these players, it's not really about the 10 and 0 or records or anything like that at that point of course you want to accomplish those things but the honest answer as boring as it sounds is we're focusing on staying sharp for a postseason game sneaking up on us less than a week after that game that game's on the sunday and then we have a must win postseason game on that friday we can talk about it all we can talk about what you accomplish if we if we get to 9 and 1 or 10 and 0 it doesn't matter if you go in that friday and lose it doesn't matter so the, it's all about preparing ourselves, sharpening everything, maintaining the standards and the details that we want and going into the playoffs ready. So what type of roster then do you bring Sunday night? Because it would be a chance to give lots of guys playing time and make sure everyone's healthy for the playoffs, or it would be a chance to try to make sure you go 10-0. I mean, maybe both could happen. But what are your thoughts? Well, what's great about this group is if, even if a guy hasn't been in the match day squad that much throughout the season, he's showing up to every training season with that same sort of fight and hunger to try to earn his way into the match day squad. So when that's the case and the guys are doing that, it's not like a, oh, we need to scratch people's backs and allow them something. I mean, if a guy's in the match day squad, it's because he's earned it, and that's how it's always going to be. So even going into this game, we could be undefeated, or we could be we could we could be where we haven't won yet. No matter what the situation is, when we're showing up to a game, for us we look at it like a must win, and we're going to prepare that way. We're going to build a team that way. We're going to have our game plan set out that way, and we're going to just go from there. All right. Well, good luck this weekend, and we would look forward to all the stuff coming to some sort of dramatic climax for Port Orchard <laughs> FC, just like we planned and hoped for back in. February and March when we hadn't even played a game yet. Yeah, we're getting there. We just yep. step by step. Yep, next step coming up. Thanks, Coach. Yeah, thank you.